The process for my books, for sitting down and writing a book for me, probably doesn't look like a lot of professional writers do. I always know what it is I want to write. I take so much from, from my own life, from my friends' lives, from things I read, from stories and just experiences. New York has played a huge role, inspiration-wise, in my books. Um, you know, certainly the three books has played such a prominent, prominent role in not just where the girls live, of course, but their entire lifestyle. Everything they do, everywhere they go, is against the backdrop of New York and very deliberately. I was shocked in the beginning with everything that happened with Prada and how quickly that sort of all blew up. And I think even years later, it's been five years since that book published, and only now am I starting to sort of appreciate what a strange and wonderful phenomenon that was. This book was different for me and exciting for me because it's the first time I wrote in the third person and it's the first time I did a multi-perspective approach. Um, both Prada and Everyone Worth Knowing were first person, you know, one character. And this time it was really kind of neat to have the perspective of three different friends, very different girls, all met in college, and their friendship sort of grew through their 20s, and it was really fun for me to be able to kind of get inside each of their heads and to keep switching. It's about young women in their 20s living in the city, kind of trying to achieve this balance, this like trifecta of work, romantic life, and social life, and trying to kind of keep that all in order. It's a dream, it's a dream come true to be able to make a living writing these kinds of books. Um, I love reading these kinds of books. I love writing them. It hasn't lost any of the excitement either. It's really, really fun.